grade ones, my name is Teacher Di and this is an English lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions while I'm talking, you can ask your mum or dad to send an email to the address on your screen now, grade1 at worksheetcloud.com and then I'll do my best to answer that question in the next lesson. Right, let's get started. I said this is an English lesson and today we are going to be doing some reading. Isn't that fun? I love reading lessons. We've been making up all sorts of lovely sentences and I can't wait to make up some more with you today. Before we start, we have to go through our sounds. Now sounds are things that we have in our English toolbox. We take them out and they are very useful for reading and writing. So let's look at all the sounds we've put in our toolbox already. Shall we go through them together? Say them with me. A, B, K, D, keep going. E, F, G, H, very good. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Qu. R, S, T, A, V, W, X, Y, Z. Great, those are 26 tools that you have in your reading toolbox. And we've added in four more fancy sounds. Let's do those. Sh, Ch, F, U. <laughs> okay, great. Look at all of that. We're going to use them to write some sentences plus our sight words and then we really can get going. So let's start with sight words. What word is this? Let's say it together. The. The. Very good. And this one? Look. Look. Great. Out. Out. Remember, as we say our sight words, we're not going to sound them out. We should know them by now. We just look at them and we say them. If you're not sure, go back and um, go through the other lessons that we did. We did a lesson on each one of these sight words to practice. So there's lots of time to go back and practice some more. Okay, let's keep going. Down. Down. Do you remember this one about the roller coaster that went up and down? Great. He and, right, she, very good, he, she, ah, and this word is very useful, said, said. Okay, today we are going to add in this new one. It's actually two words, it's an expression and it's very handy. It says, oh no, <laughs> look at his face, oh no, that's what that says. Do you want to try by yourself? Let's go. Very good. Oh no. And now we can use that one in today's writing. Okay, let's get started and have a look at these pictures. Okay, look at his face. What do you think he's saying? <laughs> yeah, oh no. And what's the matter? Hmm, what do you think the weather's like outside? Looks a little bit rainy. You know, it's a rainy day where I am too. It's very wet. It's not much fun. You can't play outside, but you can be cozy inside and do these lovely lessons. So that's good. Hey, let's write a story about what he's saying. We can use our sight words, he and said to say he said. Let's start with that. He said. Can you read that? He said. And what do you think he's saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, oh no. Let's read that together. He said, oh no. And this sign at the end is called an exclamation mark. You don't need to worry about it. It just takes the place of a full stop and it tells us to say that in an excited kind of way. He said, oh no. And what did he say oh no about? I think that it's so wet outside. Let's write that. It is wet. I, t, it. There we go. We can spell these sounds. Is. Can you sound it out? I, s, is. 
It is, and how do we say wet? Let's say it slowly. W, E, T, and a full stop. Let's read this together. He said, oh no. It, it, it's, is, w, it, wet. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> now what do you think he's doing? It looks like he's making the best of the rainy day and he's jumping in the puddles. He's going to get wet. Maybe the rain has stopped for a minute, so he's gone outside to jump. So shall we write about that? Okay. He said, what did he say? How about, I can jump. Yeah, he can jump in the puddles. I, that's just an E, a capital letter E. And when we look at it, we say, I, because it's standing alone. So it refers to me. He's saying, I can jump. How do we write can? K, A, N, I, can, jump. That feels like a long word, but I bet we can do it. Let's sound it out slowly. J, A, M, P. There we go. He said, I can jump. Now something's missing here. I bet some of you have spotted it already. What do we still need to add to this here sentence? We've got our capital letter and now we need a full stop. Yes, you smarty pants out there who said full stop. Let's read the sentence together. He said, I can, can j jump. Full stop. Right, very good. Let's see what's next. Oh no. Oh dear. What do you think he's been jumping in and it's made lots of mud? Hmm. I hope he doesn't trample that inside. His mom or dad's not going to be very happy. I think he's saying, oh no. What else do you think he's saying? Look, look at the mud maybe. Hey, sure. Look at all that mud. I hope he wipes his feet. Okay, let's write that. He said, Oh no! Amazing how we've just written that using our sight words. Hey, that's why sight words are so useful to have in our toolkit. It makes our sentences so much more interesting. He said, oh no. Look at, let's sound that out together, at, at, the, another sight word. Sure, look at all these sight words and we can read them all. Look at the mud and we can spell mud let's say it slowly m a d mud there we go okay read this for me i'll put i'll point to the word and you say it did you get it he said oh no look at the Mud. <laughs> oh dear. Oh lovely, the sun has come out. Oh that's so nice when that happens and everything is all fresh and clean after the rain and now the sun has come out. So he writes about that. Okay, he said, how about the sun is out? Shall we write that? The, it's actually a sight word, the, but it's also one of the words we can spell with our New fancy sound. What sound is this? Th. Yes. Th. Th. So th is both a sight word and a word we can spell now. He said the s a n sun. He said the sun is is out. And that's one of our sight words. Sure, that's very good. Let's read it together. He said, the sun is out. And did you notice a full stop? Right. Well, that was fun. Four seasons in a day. He must live in Cape Town. He said, the sun is out. Well done, everybody. I hope you have a lovely day, whether it's raining or shiny and sunny outside. Thanks for joining me today. 
I hope you enjoy the activity that I've prepared for you. Ask mum or dad to download and print it and have lots of fun drawing your own picture for the sentence that I've given you. Okay, have a lovely day grade ones and thank you for coming to join me at this lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.